the opioid addiction crisis, funding for a new partnership will help local groups provide treatment. The University of Virginia has teamed up with other schools, including Virginia Tech. 10 News reporter Tommy Lopez shows us the impact it could have. One of the many groups that will now have more resources to help people in their battle against addiction is New River Valley Community Services. The center helps with prevention and treatment. It's trying to help as many people as possible. One of the biggest challenges is just capacity to get the people who have needs for treatment and service actually into services. It helps 13,000 people each year and has seen an increase in the last year in people wanting substance abuse treatment. Having a continuance of the partnership that we have with Virginia Tech is a uh, a huge asset for our community. Any additional funding or support for that is obviously a step in the right direction. Virginia Tech leaders say this program, which has federal grant funding, will help with program evaluation, technical assistance, extra staffing, and more. It's a way to provide to them expertise at the universities in a more coordinated way and to have it paid for so that they get their needs met and we're able to contribute to what they're doing. The ones in more remote areas, more rural areas, particularly haven't had access to some of the technical assistance and research services that can be provided. The schools aren't aware of any other examples of this kind of partnership. They formed the idea together last year. It's really exciting that, that we all just kind of got together and had this idea and made it up and it happened. Groups can start making requests in the next month or two. Virginia Tech faculty note that this infrastructure, these lines of communication, are beneficial not just for when it comes to opioids, but addiction response to all drugs as time moves forward. In Blacksburg, I'm Tommy Lopez, 10 News, working for you.